Hello everyone and welcome back. Last time we learned a bit about Son Montuno music style. We learned about the instrumentation and how to play the clavis in 2-3. This week, and by popular demand, we will continue by learning more about another instrument. I'll give you a hint. We mentioned it last week. Just like the clavis, they are percussion instruments and work as a pair. They are small and they are part of the shakers. Did you guess yet? Do you say the maracas? Well, you are right! The maracas are typically made out of dry wood and filled with dry seeds. For this music style, we will be playing the maracas with short detached notes which in music we call staccato. But before we start, we need to have uh, some maracas, right? You wouldn't happen to have a pair laying around, would you? No, I didn't think so. So, the first thing we need to do is... create our own maracas. Come with me, as we make our own. So, to create your own maraca, we could use different things. If you happen to have some Easter eggs at this time of year, it would be amazing. It would be very easy. Let's pretend that you do have some Easter eggs. What you could do, open the eggs, get some rice, fill it up, close it again, and right there you have some maracas. You get another one and do the same. A little bit of rice would do. Perfect. Now, let's say that you don't have Easter egg. Another thing you can use if you don't have Easter eggs and are not planning to get any, you could get a sheet of paper and some small cups. I happen to have some. Christmas cups and they're the right size. They're small, they fit in my hand easily. The smaller the better. If they're big, it's okay as well. Something you could do is get the cup, put it on a piece of paper, and we're gonna trace around the circumference of the cup. Now that is the size of the cup. Now what we could do is a bigger circle. I will get my scissors and cut the bigger there we have the outer circle. Now we're gonna cut all the way up to the inner circle. You can see now we could fold the edge. Before we do that, we could use either rice or since it's a cup, we could use beans. Let's use some a few more beans. We'll do. Now if you have some tape, you get a piece of tape. Use some helping hands if you have some and put the tape around helping hands around the cup. Thank you. Obviously it doesn't have to be beautiful, it's gotta have to be functional. If you don't happen to have tape, what you could do then Pretend I don't have tape. Again, we're gonna draw the circle around the cup. We're gonna make a bigger circumference, a bigger outer circle. So now we're gonna cut it. And once again, we're gonna cut
this time, what we're gonna do this is in case you don't have tape. We have it ready. We'll have some of the beans. We got some black beans, but you could use anything. Anything that will rattle. In this case, without tape, I will just hold it. Now let's take a look at rhythm A. He goes one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Try to clap your hands to the beat. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Now try to play with your maracas. Right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. Now let's try to play to the beat of the music. Well done. Now let's look at rhythm B. It goes one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four. Let's try to play along. Excellent work everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I wonder what we should do next week. Well for now, remember, practice practice and keep the music alive. <laughs>